We sailed from Beckway with a short provisioning stop in Kingstown and further on to Valiabu on the west coast of St. Vincent. We haven't yet seen any lobster when we've been diving, so one day when a fisherman offered us it, we couldn't resist and bought some. The taste was so delicious, so we forgot to film it. You have to imagine sitting in the sunset eating grilled lobster. We took a walk to a waterfall. It was a nice change to swim in fresh water. The waterfall was in a nature park that was supported by EU. So we have probably paid like one gazillion of the park. We still had to pay entrance fee though. Det är ett riktigt träd det där. Snorkeling. <laughs> this is our favorite sport. <laughs> yes. This is sport, I don't know. I know, but activity is really, really beautiful under the surface. Yeah. And the warm water. This is what we've been waiting for <laughs> all along Europe. Well, the water was quite cold, so we couldn't really snorkel like this. Now we can be in the water for. For five minutes. Yeah, until your figure starts to raise it. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's the problem we are in the water for two hours per day. <laughs> yeah. So this is a new way to anchor. Where I stand here in the front of the boat, it's approximately 10 meter deep. And uh, where we put the anchor, it was 15 to 18 meters. And it's very close to shore, so when uh, we go back here, it gets more and more shallow. And uh, down in the back, it's just 2.5 meters. It's all sandy bottom, so it's no problem for uh, holding uh, the anchor. And we tie a line to the shore and tie it to a palm tree, and that's quite exotic for uh, for us that are used to pine trees. So when we leave, uh, Lina is swimming ashore and uh, untied the uh, 
the boat and swim back to the boat. And that's even more exotic. days on the carnival we were full of energy and on the same time totally drained of it. It was a great experience, full of music, happiness and bodies. Even though the whole city was moving, it was hard to be a part of it. We were more like spectators. It was very clear that my blood doesn't have the rhythm. Sometimes you can blame others when shit happens, but today we blame no one because we got our own, own fishing line into the propeller. We forgot to take it up when we started to anchor. So this is a piece of art. Luckily it doesn't seem to be too bad. And we actually rescued our favorite thing. <laughs> so that's good. So now I'm going to dive down again, see if we need to and see if I get everything loose or if I have to take away the anodes before we can cut it off. Okay, see you later. Thanks for watching. Next episode will be about boating tips and tricks that we have learned along the way.